Sometimes when working in AutoCAD, you need to quickly find the coordinates of specific points. In this video, I'll show you a simple and effective way to create your own coordinate finder in AutoCAD. Let's start. First, we need to create a point for our coordinate finder. To do this, go to the draw menu, choose point, and then select single point. Click anywhere in the drawing area to place the point. You can use point command also with command line to create a point. You can customize the appearance of your point by going to the format menu and selecting point style. From there, choose the style and size that works best for you. In this tutorial, I use this point style with a size of 1 and set the size to absolute units. Next, we'll add a leader to label our coordinate finder. Go to the annotation tab, choose leader, and then create a leader without an arrowhead and without text. Now we're at the most important part of this video, creating the coordinate display using a field. To do this, go to the insert tab in the menu bar, then click on field. Or you can use field command. In the field dialog box, first choose objects under the field category. Then, select object from the field names list. Click the select object button and choose the point you created earlier. Under property, select position. Finally, choose your preferred unit format and coordinate separator. Next, check the box for X to display the eastern coordinate, then click the additional format button. In the dialog box, add your custom text in the prefix field, for example, type E equals, click OK to apply the changes. Now, select the position in your drawing where you want to place the eastern text or X coordinate. Repeat the same steps to create the northern coordinate or y coordinate as well. This time, in the field dialog box, check the box for y, and in the prefix field, type an equals for the northern coordinate. Then, click in the drawing area where you want to place the northern text. I also increase the text size slightly for better visibility, and with that, we're almost done. To keep everything together and work with it as a single object, we need to group all the elements. To create group, select all objects, then right click and click group. So I created a group using these objects. That's it. Now let's test it by moving the group. After moving, use the Regan command to regenerate the drawing. You'll see that the coordinates update automatically based on the new location. Let's test our coordinate finder. I'm using this closed polyline to check how our setup works. I simply copied the coordinate finder to different locations where I want to display or verify coordinates. Then regenerate using regen command. To double check the accuracy, I use the id command to confirm the point coordinates and it matches perfectly. This confirms that our dynamic coordinate finder is working just as expected. Thank you for watching, stay with us, for more videos like this, to keep updating your AutoCAD knowledge with useful tips and techniques. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, we're here to help.